YouTube. Welcome into my channel. I'm Katie. My pronouns are she, her, and this is my floss tube channel. This is a YouTube channel where I mostly talk about the crafts that I have been working on. Um, mostly cross stitch and fiber arts, things like that. I do have a knitting project to talk about today. Um, and occasionally I have some diamond painting progress. Um, stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, welcome in if you are new, welcome back if you're not. Thank you so much for joining me today for this update. Um, I've got a little bit to talk about with you guys, so if that sounds good, grab a drink, grab a craft, and let us get started with the video. I've got my um, cruise ship mug from Royal Caribbean today. Okay, so... It's been a little while. Halloween has come and gone. And during that time, um, I was feeling the Halloween vibe. So I did pull out both of my spookier projects uh, since then. Um, a little bit. So this first project, it's hard to see because it's like the perforated paper. Oops, upside down. So this is my Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Haunted Mansion. Um, since the last time I showed this, um, according to Notion, last time I worked on this project was in June. Um, I did. I was actually a little bit surprised by that because I honestly thought it was longer. I thought it was since um, the previous year. Anyway, uh, last time I showed this, I was pretty much about here, maybe a little bit more of the tree. But I did fill in some green and um, that's either a pile of leaves or like some kind of bush or shrub. Um, I will show you the cover picture so you can see what it's supposed to look like. It's quite small. Can I get you up here? There you go. Yeah. So down here on that right side, I'm going to work my way across the porch. Um, so I was like one stitch off and had to frog so much. Um, but I'm back on track and I'm making good progress on the porch. It's quite a lot of fill in here. So that'll feel like, um, good color blocky progress. I love that. And then, um, yeah, we're just, you know, I'm going to keep on keeping on my needle minder is from Adam Hart stitch came in a box of an order of her heart floss drops that I have in another project yes so um if you don't know button mill hills kits come with everything you need it's it got it came with all of the DMC floss um and then I just bobbinated it um for the most part so that's that and I will say I was watching Julie, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World, and she is working on a series of all of these um, sort of spookier uh, buttons and bead kits, and she's doing them all on one big piece of linen, which I really love that idea. I kind of wish I had done that instead. I'm not nuts about the perforated paper. It'll be okay, but I may choose differently next time. Um, but yeah, she, hers looks so good. Um, I will say my flubbers were completely gassed when she said that she finished one of these in like three days. Um, and this is going on like a year, so. We are definitely very different um, stitching styles, but that was a, a great floss soup episode from her and it reminded me that this little guy was waiting for me and it was right up to Halloween so it was just perfect I did get about three nights of stitching done um unfortunately it was a little bit of backwards progress but uh yeah it's kind of um back in the front of my mind now and uh hopefully we'll get a little bit more attention before it gets shoved back into the back of the closet getting moved down. And then next for spooky season, I 
with this little bag too, actually. Um, is my Tonight We Ride. And this one, I really didn't track or do any notion entering for anything that's in a paper pattern. I will sometimes for a paper pattern, but um, I forgot. So last time we talked, I believe I only had, I wish I hadn't taken it out of it too, um, one owl. I don't remember which one, but there was only one owl and fewer tree branches. Um, and then this is the bottom of the last witch. It's like her, her skirt or something hanging on there, hanging down the room. Um, so yeah, not very much, but I did pull this out a couple of nights leading up to Halloween through October, maybe a little bit in September too. I don't remember. Um, but this is a really fun project to work on. Um, the pattern that we ride from the Autumn Lane Stitchery from the very first Halloween box. So we're here. Should give the owls their eyes soon. Um, this is a 16 count Ada in the color pumpkin patch from Be Stitch Me. Really great modeling. Um, I think this was my first project on a non 14 count, perhaps. Maybe. Yo, I almost spilled this all over. All over everything. That would have been the end for me. Um, yeah. And this is all just DMC, so much 310. I think the kit came with five skeins and um, I may have to buy more. I'm not the most economical floss user, but I do like color blocky, less color changes is the way to go. For sure. Okay, and so those were my two very spooky projects. Um, you know, actually, I go not in order. And then this one is for my friend Stephanie's birthday sal. She chose, yeah, okay. Autumn is as joyful from Leela's studio. Um, I do not have a printout of it, so We'll try to remember to put in a cover picture. Um, when I'm not, so I won't cover up this, but I'm really close to finishing this this big motif. It is quite large. Um, this is a 18 count? 18 or 16. Let's find out what Notion says. Eighteen count. Ha! I knew that was it. That's my favorite. Um, so let's see. Since I last updated you, I filled in the A, this little doodad, and more of the leaves here, and I am steadily working on this half medallion. This is the leftmost edge, and. Um, I'm just filling it in. This is huge. This is so many stitches. It is deceptively large. And because this is not a, it's a lower count fabric. Um, yeah, sh this is probably about three inches tall, I guess. You know, about the size of my finger. Um, regardless, I really wanna get this done because I wanna move on to a different color. I'm, I'm tired of brown. I probably had too many coffees, but I can't film without it, evidently. Um, so yeah, this is my Sunday stitching, and eventually I will get to the squirrel, but I am using the hashtag Sunday Squirrel Stitching, and then there is a hashtag for Steph's birthday sal, um, and I have resolved to be better about posting on Instagram, um, uh, because... I'm not great at taking pictures of my projects and if it's not perfect, then I don't post it. And then 
I go months and months without posting. Um, so progress, not perfection. I'm going to try and post more of all of my projects. And when I do post this one, it will be, I think Leela's birthday Quaker, birthday Quaker Sal. Like last time, I will put it in the screen. Um, and then I'm also um, using Sunday scroll stitching because I really like alliteration and I really like squirrels. So those are the two I'm using. Um, feel free to join me if you'd like. And um, yeah, you should consider getting this pattern because it's beautiful. It's fully in Pattern Keeper. I've got everything in there. In fact, I can tell you. There are 1,117 stitches that I just showed you in that. Um, the whole thing, not just that, that medallion. Um, I can't get Pattern Keeper on my phone for some reason. Or I need to sign in. Um, so yeah, that is Autumn is, is Joyful. And this is one of those seasonal ones as well that has been really hogging all of my attention. Um, I just, I, I can't, everything is, is vibes based for me. 99% of what I do is do the vibes feel right. Um, so we're in fall vibes. So that's what we're going with. Mm. Having said that, my next project is quite the opposite. Um, I've been sharing this kind of like in Rachel Ray's like Discord and everything, but this one is my pink project. This is my Valentine's Day project. Um, some of the hoop is cutting off a little bit of that so you can't really see it. But since my last update, I finished this building. It's all filled in. And then all that I have left are two more kind of smallish, medium-ish medium -ish buildings, houses. I think one looks like a silo or something. Um, it's just a really skinny little house. So that's the one I just did. I finished this one. That's that. And then these two little guys, some fences and a tree, and um, these weird little floating hearts. And then it also has, I don't want to show you the pattern, obviously, but can I show you these? Not really. Um, these precious little heart-shaped buttons, they're, they're itty bitty. Um, they should fit fine on this. I will, I will make it work. Um, I don't know if there's any rules about the certain sign of size of fabric you can use for this type of button so I will make it work um but it's just the cutest little pattern ever um I I'm was kind of in my feels earlier this week I was not happy about some world developments so I pulled out this one that made me happy because it's all the pink all the time so and before long, I'll have a finish. Um, it's really not that much left, she said, knowing full well. Now that I've said that, it will probably go in um, limbo for like six months because like Murphy's Law, I think, would be what it is. Okay. Okay. So, oh, I should have done this one next instead, but that's okay. This one I worked on last night. And every time my binder ring sticks to my fabric keeper thingies. This is Maple Lane. And see, since the last time I filled in, um, the outlining of these little uh, scallops of the awning and then the sort of swirly 
pattern details in there. I don't know what you call that, the, the, the design um, of the awning. And then this is gonna be filled in. And then this poor guy will leave the rest of his head finished. But I was pretty much here last time with none of the blue. So I got a lot done last night. I got 170 stitches done just filling in the blues and this uh, design. This is gonna be filled in with some orange. And I don't, you guys, I can't for the life of me figure out, I think it's a leaf. It's very abstract, but I'm like, that is the weirdest shape, that center thing. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a leaf because it's filled in with orange and like dark gold. Um, I spent way too much time just trying to figure out like what the heck was that supposed to be? Because I don't, the shape just doesn't make sense to me, I guess. Um, I know it's kind of hard to do that much with pixels, but I spent way too much time trying to decipher what the heck that was. being said I still love this project this was my first ever linen project um this and the tiny town project are both on a 30 count mystery linen um that was gifted to me from a community member from Michelle Bendy's discord who uh found this for a steal at a thrift store and sent them to me so eternally grateful for that that was so kind and um it, it, this was the first, a great first project for linen because it's a very loose, very, very loose and wide open, um, weave. So it's really easy to tell where my thre uh, thread needle goes. So, um, this one has been this one has been getting a lot of attention lately and it will continue to do so. Is there a hair? Um, so yeah, details, perhaps. This is from the Frosted Pumpkin, and if you didn't know, they're my favorite, so it's tons of those. I'm, I'm feeling a Christmas start coming soon, but I'm not allowed to buy any more fabric for a little while, so I might have to hold off on that, but... um. Yeah, I love the Frosted Pumpkin. This is Maple Lane from the Frosted Pumpkin. Um, what else? Just all the DMC for this pattern. This is what it looks like finished. So got up to about here. I've got a couple of like partially headed people, so gotta fix that. Um, and according to Pattern Keeper, I'm just under 40% done, so It is a little crazy to me that there is that much left because I only have like one more plant stand and that's not very big. So, um, tons of background and then there's a whole bottom half that I continue to forget about. Um, I just love it. And then continuing on with my love for the Frosted Pumpkin and my last cross stitch project for today is the Arctic Animal Sal. And I have most of a caribou. Um, a little bit of their eyes and filling out some of that. And he will be complete. I believe it has antlers, if I recall correctly. Um, and then his little sign. Um, and then I will be ready to move on to the next clue. Um, the most recent drop, don't want to spoil, you know, spoiler alert, if you aren't already aware or don't want to be spoiled, um, it's like a little uh, roof that goes over them all. So it's going to be really cute. The fabric is a 28 count cashel from Picture This Plus in the color Nocturne. Um, so the last two projects were great first linen projects this one I I'm not loving the 28 count cashel I don't know if those other ones 
because they're found in the thrift shop. Maybe they're not how linen is supposed to be, but at this time I'm not, it's okay. I can, it's, it's not like a deal breaker, but it's not my favorite either. So next year I'm probably going to order their Ada kit. Um, but anyway, I'm going to finish up the caribou and then I believe move on to the little puffins. And I think there's also been an Arctic hair drop as well. Um, so another little white critter um, in there. And then it's just moving along so quickly and I'm pretty behind. But I just love these patterns. They're just the cutest. I like the cute chibi, kawaii kind of um, art style. So those projects are perfect. Um, so that was, as I said, my last cross stitch project. And then I do have one knitting project to share with you that I have gotten a little bit of progress on, which is the Love Note sweater from Tin Can Knits. This is an extremely popular pattern. Okay, those aren't going anywhere. So I'll hold them. Let's see. That's not good on the basket um since we last met I have finished the high low hem this was where my progress keeper was last time and I've done the high low hem and now I'm starting on the one by one ribbing I've switched needle sizes I did remember to actually switch down a needle size for the ribbing so I always forget that um but I will say Tin Can Knits app makes it really easy because they remind you. Um, so yeah, I have an inch of ribbing to do, which, uh, you know, it's not too bad. I'm gonna actually need to see how much I have done, see how much I have left, but it's not too much. This is a fairly loose uh, knit. It's not super dense kind of light and uh, open so I mean that's not that's not an inch that might be three quarters or um not really sure I have I have a measuring tape in there um I will figure that out next time I work on it but I did go ahead and wind up another ball of the truffula cashmere from treehouse knits I don't think I have all the labels with me to remind you of the fiber content. So this is two fingering weight yarns held together. Um, spruce sock in the color of the money beats um, from the office collection from Dwight Schrute. So sock yarn, 75% merino, 25% nylon, really nice, smooth, um, three ply, I think, maybe two ply. Uh, nice and nice and smooth and tight and really easy to work with. And then the fuzzy is truffle cashmere, which I do not have the label, I don't think. And do I remember what it is? No, I don't. But I did find the label. Eighty-one percent superwash merino, nineteen percent cashmere. Um, so. It's, it's so soft. It's going to be amazing. Um, and I might actually get to wear it this winter um, if it ever gets cold because it's about 80 degrees outside right now in November. So that was a little bit of babbling about my projects. Um, but I, I love... I love, I want to share, I love my crafts and I want to share them with everybody and hear about what everyone else is working on. Um, I, I just think it's a great community out there. So that's why I do these. Um, only other thing I really have to share with you guys would be some plans, which are few because I may have mentioned that I very much need to put myself on a no buy for non-essentials. Um, We've done some budgeting around here and realized uh, we 
see, I need to cut back and use what I have. So I do plan after I get this here video edited and rendered and all of that to get Erdusia on a hoop and um, get a start on that. Cause I've had the fabric for three months now since August. It was delivered mid, no. Maybe mid-September, because I ordered it in August, and then it took about eight weeks to get finished. So, um, that was a tangent. Bring it back. Uh, plans to start Urduja, the mermaid. I will put in another picture. That's a Bella Filipina mermaid. Um, she's gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I, I, am, I am obsessed with her. I love her. She's beautiful. I just need to get my rear and gear and uh, show that love by actually working on her because she's been neglected. Um, other than that, I don't have any plans for starts anytime soon. I've got some ideas kind of percolating, but for the moment, that is really it. I'm currently moving on to books and media. I'm currently rereading the Heroes of Olympus series from Rick Riordan. I'm on the last book. Uh, Blood of Olympus and I have been trying to get through that for a while um, but I keep falling asleep instead of reading so progress is slow on that it's a great book it's a great series I really like that author I've read them several times before which might be why I'm not super motivated to like find out what happens and finish and all that um, but I do love a reread every now and then and he does have two new books out that I haven't read yet um which is why I'm doing the reread I think he's a great author um the Percy Jackson uh, Camp Half-Blood series on Disney Plus is supposed to be amazing so I'm gonna have to figure out how to watch that soon and um yeah that whole his whole universe is is really great I I really enjoy them And I actually haven't been watching a lot of scripted shows. I've left off on the last season of A Discovery of Witches for some reason. Um, I do feel like I might be in the mood to watch it again soon. Um, and if I'm not careful, it will be off of Netflix before I have finished it. So I probably better um, just put it on while I'm working on uh, on some projects and um, see what happens because I haven't finished the last book. So there will, be, there will be some spoilers, but it's fine. Um, and other than that, I've been watching so much YouTube, like a ton of beauty videos, Rachel Ray and Michelle Bendy Stitchy. Um, and also a lot of like kind of beauty stuff because I'm kind of getting back into the whole makeup for days other than when I'm recording. Um, that has kind of been an interest that's sort of been reignited. Um, and it's good background noise. It's very relaxing somehow. I just feel a little crazy to say it, but um, that really is everything I have been up to. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you made it this far, I appreciate you for hanging out with me. Um, Go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to your friends about my channel. And I appreciate every one of you. And I'll see you next time with another update. Take care. Bye.